Right, video two in the sequence, the barefoot wine taster does Keith Robinson. Um, five Sauvignon, uh, sorry, five Chenin Blanc. Uh, Chenin Blanc is great, which does particularly well in South Africa. Uh, they've been doing it for for centuries now. Um, many, many years ago, whilst um, the restrictions were still in place, it was known as Steen, and it was one of the most widely planted grapes uh, in, the, in the Cape. Um, five relatively different styles, but not too different, uh, ranging from from refreshing, fresh, sharp, crisp, fruity, um, peri drop type flavours, coming through to slightly richer flavours um, with a little bit of enhancement in this one uh, of good oaking and the sort of oaking that we talked about when we were out in the back garden. Um, in old French barrels, properly infused, not sticking tea bags or, or, or uh, wooden stakes in. Uh, and then the Asara, which is what I would consider to be top of the, top of these in terms of quality. And this has got everything that you want in a, in a really uh, rich, fine white wine. Uh, it would knock the, top, the socks off some of the French um, Chenin Blancs that you get, knock socks off um, some of the top Chardonnays because it's got lots of really different flavours, richness, a smoothness in the, in the, in, in the, the mouth, full-bodied, oh, Jan has just entered the room, it doesn't matter, but full-bodied full in, um, in, your, in, in, in your chest, really substantial wine which you could have on its own or you would have with, um, with lots of white meats or even with some of the, some pork or something. I, I like I personally like it with pork. So very very briefly we'll go through them. The Swartland Founders Shannon Blum. Um, great everyday wine. Uh, I'll just tell you what it says here. Uh, crisp, refreshing, cool uh, and fruity wine. Uh, lovely company to sushi or salad. Well we don't get much sushi in um, in Pollock Shield but um, I, I, I love it as a an evening wine or a lunchtime wine. Cape Vineland Shin, which comes from north uh, the Northern Cape. Swartland is also in the north, but a little bit further up. Um, <coughs> Cape Vineland Shin comes from the Northern Cape. Similar in style to the, uh, the Swartlands. Not um, not not meant for keeping. Not meant for. Um, special occasions necessarily, an everyday great lunch wine, uh, great supper wine, uh, a great evening wine, uh, crisp, fresh, lots of good fruit in it. Uh, moving on to these two, which I like to look at together, both of them um, very similar styles, however, um, the Rainbow's End comes from, oh, both of them come from favourite vineyards, the Rainbow's End comes from Stellenbosch, and the Rickety Bridge comes from Franschhoek, which is the French Eugenot part of the Cape. Um, this is slightly more, the, the Rickety Bridge is slightly more austere in a sense, austere in the sense of sharp freshness which cleanses, but with good um, shining characteristics of apricots and, and pear drops, um, and pears on, 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 the, um, on the, the, the palate. The, what I like about the Rainbow's End is you've got all the same kind of characteristics, but the smooth, smoothness in the mouth is, is it that much greater, um, mainly because this is, again, this is, this is a wine which is very slightly wooded. Um, it's put into old French um, oak barrels for, I think it's probably about six months, no more. And then we move on to the last of the, the wines, and that's the Asara Chenin Blanc. And in some respects, the Asara Chenin Blanc combines and improves on both of these wines. So you've got a degree of oaking, uh, a degree of, and, and you get a real buttery, you get a real butterscotchy flavours coming out of it, but you also get all the fruit flavours that you would normally get with an, an ordinary, well, a, a regular Chenin Blanc. In terms of pricing, these come in around a tenner each. I think this one's a wee bit, it's about 11. These are 13, 13 50. And this is 16 or thereabouts. Um, in terms of putting together a case for yourself, um, with regard to, you said maybe about 130 to 150, I would maybe look to give you one each of these so you can compare and contrast. Okay, so that's the Shannons.